Peace and blessings everyone. Welcome back to the Humble Servant Homestead guys. Today I am out here, um, you know, down in South Georgia guys. Now of course, you know we did not plant any watermelon this year. And so we are coming down here to pick us some watermelon. And as a matter of fact, what you're looking at right here in this field guys is sweet potatoes. Um, I have came down here before and harvest some sweet potatoes and that's what they have planted out there and so right now we are uh, pulling up to go ahead and go pick some watermelon out there in the field um, it is a bit of the peak day you know it is a bit hot if you're looking right there guys look that's a watermelon right there as well how you doing so we're gonna get on out here and once we get on out there into the field um, definitely what we are going to go ahead and do is um, just take you all with us on a walk so you all can see what those watermelons is looking like. We're able to pick our own watermelon guys. So you know it's all about hey are you going to pick some good watermelons or bad watermelons. We will only find that out when we get home and cut into these watermelons. But look at that. Um, just you know. Um, you know, it's good, good old open pasture land. And so, um, we're just gonna keep you all, uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned, we're gonna get on out here and get to harvesting. So, we'll catch you all up there at the watermelon patch, guys. All right. Okay, guys, and so, we are riding down right now. Um, we are actually pulling up, um, you know what this actually that is actually right in this field right here is more sweet potatoes guys um you know what grows on that is down here is that 8a 8b 8b okay so we're actually here like she said the grow zone is 8b i do believe down here they do have it is a longer growing um period for down here guys and you can actually see um at the end of the rows where they probably came in and put potassium down guys for these watermelons and do well, excuse me uh sweet potatoes rather and this right here is their uh irrigation system watering hose and so this is what they actually use to water all this field right here um the source where they're getting the water source from i just passed two pond or uh, two big pretty sized pond coming in and that's what they use uh, to water these fields here guys um, what we're just passing right here that is peanuts okay uh, peanuts um, down here been it been dry though you know but hey you know they're making it do what it do and at the end of the day that's all that matters um, you know sometime once you're growing on a large scale like this you know, it takes a lot of resource, guys. I mean, especially um, water to water all that field right there. It takes water. Um, that's one of the things that people don't understand that when you're planting stuff, um, those are some of the, the main necessities of things that you need to grow a lot of stuff, guys, is water. Okay, so as y'all can see right there, we are pulling up to the watermelon patch. And we're going to go ahead and get on out here and see uh, the best of watermelons that we can pick. All right, so stay tuned. Guys, and so we're out here at the watermelon field right now. And give me your name, sir. Randy Delotes. Randy Delotes. Nice to meet you, sir. So what is our brother Randy is going to go ahead and do right now is help us on how to go about cutting water well not cutting the watermelon but how to pick the right watermelon out here so we go home with some sweet watermelons right that's right all right we and want so you to be happy that's right because we all love sweet watermelon so um you go ahead and explain how to okay each each melon has a stem that comes into the main vine right here yes sir all right it has a little quirl we call it on opposite of that stem Okay. And you want to look for that one, just like that one is brown. Mm -hmm. That one is good. So this watermelon would be good. All right. So we cut that one. And also, if it has a white spot on the bottom where it's on the ground, that's a good sign too. Mm -hmm. But you always want to look for this little thing right here opposite. And if it's uh, 
uh, green, you leave that one for uh, another day. Okay. And if it, but if it looks brown like this, then that melon's ripe. That's ripe. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So y'all got that, guys. So we're going to get on out here from the tutorial that brother Randy gave us. Got it right, right? Yeah. We're gonna go ahead on out here and pick watermelon. Now, how much acres uh, this watermelon field we'll is on? Ten acres. Here. Ten. Ooh, mm -hmm. ten acres. I'm going to get a workout this uh, this <laughs> morning here, picking watermelon. And, and I'm gonna charge you for that. All right. So <laughs> give. So um, what I want to do here today, though, your location, where you're located, so that way we can get people on out here as well to come and support you. And picking okay. this watermelon. So you want to go ahead and uh, 1026 Herman Lynn Road, Claxton. Claxton. Bring you right to me. Okay, so y'all got that, guys. This is where the watermelon is located. Come on out here and support Brother Randy. Help him get some of this watermelon out of this field. Um, if you, oh yeah, absolutely. If you're a a vendor that like to sell watermelon on the street, come on out here and Hey, come get you some watermelon. Okay. Just stay tuned though. We're gonna get on out here and pick uh, a mess load. You gonna pick a mess load of watermelon? Yeah, uh, I got juice and wine to make. Okay, all right. Y'all heard that. So we're gonna get on out here. See you again. Bring your bottle, Miss Miranda. Sweet potato season. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We'll be back to see you for sweet potato season. That's you right. You know that already. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna get on out here and get the picking. Here, boys. Here's your good one. MJ. About to get the picking. What kind and did you grow up this year? I tell you what. Say again. What kind did you grow this year? Look at that juice. Uh, watermelons. We got the crimson sweet. Look mm -hmm. at that juice and coming out that watermelon, the guys. How there. red would, that you is. You get what you want of these. I know this is a sweet. Sounds there. good, too. Listen to that. Try Charleston gray this year. Sounds too. real good. All right. They're on the bottom side of the So, the yellow meat done when you check I think, you, like you said, he got crimson jubilee out here and also yellow meat watermelon and we're going to go ahead and get to picking so stay tuned guys it's, it's green so that melon's not ready but oh. that one is okay this is just one per vine because because it needs to be what color green. green if it's green what yellow pick it. don't pick it yeah see that's what you want to pick if it's brown like that one pick it that's a good one okay. that one good yes sir if it's green don't pick it. I like to leave a little stem on it. They keep better. Okay. All right. That's a good one. The sun's burning a little bit, but it's not hurt. It's solid. Let me see. Let me tell you. I won't. Sounds good, too. Sounds nice and... Yeah, I think that one's fine. I'd eat that one first. All right. Okay, okay. fixing the spray something on them to keep them from sunburning. Oh, okay. It's called a, matter of fact, you see this on that melon the right white there? Sprinkles? Mm -hmm. That's what that is. Okay. Like sunscreen. It's gotcha. sunscreen. Is that is exactly what it's called. Mm. Sunscreen. Okay, cool. And if you don't, they'll all sun blister and you can't sell them. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. All right, y'all spotted any? I always I go for the biggest one. I think a great one right here. Oh, huh? you, you find your one? Okay. All right. So you don't find you one. Yeah? Yep, see right there? Mm -hmm. All right, ooh, that's a nice one. That's MJ! Nice one. And so Mr. Randy is out here actually helping us uh, picking <laughs> picking these watermelons, you know. Hey, so we're getting ready to sample some watermelon here. Mm-hmm. How that taste, Graham? <laughs> good and sweet. <laughs> it's all right now. We don't need it. It's that good. Yes, it's good. <laughs> all right, all right. Man, it's very sweet. <laughs> that is a, some sweet watermelon there, guy. Mm -hmm. All right now. We don't need you choking. You want some? <laughs> Go ahead. Y'all spread the word. Oh, yeah, that's it. Absolutely. That's what he's doing now. Yep. What? This is our one. Uh, got a seed or two in there. You can spit this them out. Third, third, fourth. Third or fourth. I think, yeah, third year coming out here. Oh, yeah. You know, these, the, you know, hey, this watermelon is good. Look at my mama over there. Can't contain herself. Look at <laughs> Look, look, take your time, Granny. Take your time. <laughs> 
All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So. That's a good one. Yeah, that is that is real Everybody sweet. Get some? No, I'm fine. You want to try, baby? Yes, All right, go ahead, try up some watermelon. Oh, this this would be good right here, Chief. Yeah, I am. Okay, he about to. All right, he about to cut another one here, guys. Y'all want some more watermelon? Y'all want watermelon? All right. So this right here is another variety of watermelon. Um, he said this variety is called Black Diamond. Um, this yellow spot that you're seeing right here, guys, is just uh, a kiss from the sun but yes sir um i think we're just and that sounds really good right there guys um ask him if he could try um sounds real good listen to that and as y'all can see right here uh tender roll is real nice and dry and that is what you are looking for whenever That's you are bad. picking watermelons but guess what guys what i'm going to be doing because all these Watermelon here have seeds in them. And so what we're going to be doing um, We will be saving the seeds So that way we can go ahead and also Plant way we may plant watermelon next year. We'll see what happened. Um, MJ Don't put this on the back of the truck Okay, so he just so this is Charleston gray over here So I think he have what four different varieties so far or five because I know he have Desert King as well, which is a yellow meat watermelon. So we're about to try the Charleston Gray guys. Fixing to get into the melon. So far, looking really good. Excuse That's what I like to do is get the heart out of it. Okay. Alright, we're gonna try that. When they get okay cold. guys. That is a very sweet it's a lighter watermelon. You know what? Got some some sweet to it. How's it, Granny? Huh? It's good. <laughs> yep, different taste. Mm-hmm. Okay, That's so what I say the name of these one was again? Diamond. Yeah. Black That's diamond. Old, old melon. The old. My daddy used to plant them things fifty years ago. Fifty years ago. All right, mm -hmm. so y'all heard that. This is a very old watermelon, black diamond, guys, and brother Randy still have it growing down here in his watermelon patch. And so, um, you you getting another one? We already have yes. one. Okay, you getting those two? Yes. All right, so she's getting the sister and the brother watermelon that is right next to each other, guys. Um, we're going to try them out and see what they're like. All right. So definitely, y'all come on down here. You still have a lot of good watermelon out here in the field. Come on down and check out Brother Randy. Watermelon patch, guys. Um, from what we're tasting so far, these watermelons, they are sweet. They are DJ. very sweet, guys. Oh. Okay? And 10 acres of watermelon. So bring your picking partner, pick, bring your picking buddy, and come and get some watermelon. Bring all your right? kids so they can earn their allowance. Yep. Guys are going to be earning their allowance today. So <laughs> I know. You just point I know, that's and let right. them pick. Point and let them pick. Don't let them pick for y'all because they'll come out here and pick y'all no, some you, bad you watermelon. Point. You go and check the tendril and yep. you point and let them pick. And what you were saying, sis? That's right. He do grow sweet potatoes as well in the fall, and Randy, I'll take these two. And the sweet potatoes go fast. They, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Because even though I grow my own sweet potatoes, like 20, we will be coming 23rd down. Twenty-third year with the sweet potatoes. Twenty-third year with sweet potatoes. Yeah. So that's one thing here, guys. He's the ma he's a master at growing sweet potatoes, and definitely what I will be doing as well is kind of. Um, talking to him a little bit about sweet potatoes. Is there any tips you can give about growing sweet potatoes? Uh, be ready to work hard. Be ready to work hard. You hear that? All right. So be ready to work hard. So do you start? That's right. Yeah. When we came through the field, that's what we're doing over there. Where you saw that irrigation. Okay. One more planting. 
one more planting. So you start your own slips. Yeah, I grow my own slips. And we start in the middle of May and we plant every week. Okay. So we have different ages. Got you. Okay. You yep. <laughs> so that's the thing. Growing them uh, sweet uh, sweet potatoes. He grow his own slip. And that is the best way to go, guys, is growing your own slips. Even though we're here talking about watermelons, um, look at that. How much he is able to save just by growing his own sweet potato slip and like he said just be ready to work um as y'all can see yeah, he's doing it by hand because that's that's the old way you know and that's the way we have to go back to is to mm -hmm. doing it the way how it used to be done you know coming out and work as y'all can see his son is out here also on that tractor very old tractor out here uh, doing some work but guys as y'all can see you know it's, it's acres up on acres and still being worked um, I think when we came down here last time what he says he do with his um, sweet potatoes um, he will plant in that area for a certain amount of years and then he'll move on to another um, spot when he plant his uh, sweet potatoes but guys, um, you know, I just wanted to come on out here and show you all something on a large scale. And the soil that I'm looking at right here that Mr. Randy is growing in is uh, sandy loom soil, guys. Okay. And we are in South Georgia. It's a, it's a sandy loom soil, as y'all can see. Um, like I said, sandy loom soil. I do um, love the sandy loom soil. You're able to, you know, do a lot with that sandy loom but so we're going to move on to another spot i believe where the desert king watermelons are and see um what they're looking like i just seen look like he picked up a cantaloupe as well but guys we're going to go on over here and see what else brother randy have to offer as far as with watermelons stay tuned machine guys, machine, guys. Right. Oh, no, actually, those are cantaloupe. Hey, Babs, they got cantaloupe planted too. Yeah. Right here on the outskirts. If you're riding, you'll see, they'll go a patch coming up right there. Yeah. Oh, how I know it's cantaloupe? I oh, don't know. I guess I've seen cantaloupe long enough. You want to get one and try? All right, cool. So, all right, guys, I'm going to jump off real quick. Grab me a cantaloupe. Okay. All right. We got a little small cantaloupe here. Um, let me see. Okay. Got one nice golden color. We're going to go ahead and um, check it on out. See what it's like. Okay. We're back moving. All right. So what we're going to go ahead and do, show you the mess load that we done picked so far. All right, so that's it right there, guys. Uh, the watermelons that we have and two cantaloupe. All right, so definitely, like I said, go ahead and save yourself some seeds. Um, I believe he was telling me the varieties that he have out here. I don't think my camera was rolling. Um, but guys, I think he say you have, uh, of course, the Desert King, uh, Black Diamond. I um, think that bad deer is the Crimson Sweet. And this is Jubilee, I believe. Um, so there's another one that I can't think of that he says is out here. So he have five uh, varieties um, of watermelon out here. Okay, um, you can't beat it. You can't beat the price on these watermelon. So... Um, of course, if somebody have to come out here and pick these watermelons for you, of course, you know, for gas and also to bring them to you. But if you come out and pick them yourself, um, hey, you know, just come on out and get them. All right, guys. So that is it right there. Have a blessed day. I want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead, guys. And as always peace and blessings um just even looking out here before i close out there's quite a different bit of 
stuff that he also have that is wild edibles out here guys this right here is the pigweed um man look at all these seeds right here all those seeds um definitely i don't want to take these at my house because what happened these seeds get loose and next thing you know you have a whole field of pig weeds guys but nonetheless that is it right there just want to say thanks for stopping by the humble servant homestead remember keep a smile on your face you be happy you be cheerful and you be blessed have a blessed day